Hello. You must be Philomena. I think what they did to you is evil. I don't like that word. No, no. Evil's good. Story-wise, I mean. The other week, Steve Coogan was in Rome to have a chat with the Pope, no less, about his latest movie. And that same evening, using the miracle of Skype, the same actor was in London to take part in a Q&A session discussing the wider themes. Someone said to Coogan, uh, well, what did the pontiff actually make of it? To which he replied, quick as a flash, aha! Turns out he's a big Alan Partridge fan. He loved it. That, of course, was a joke. And Philomena itself isn't a huge barrel of laughs. They said that you had abandoned him as a baby. I did not abandon my child. You'll be 50 today. Who is it? It tells, after all, the true story of how a young Irish woman was put away with a set of nuns in the early 1950s after a brief romantic fling with a boy she meets in a fairground. Soon after that, her son is taken from her and effectively sold to some Americans. The convent is a nasty, brutish place. And for the next 50 years, Philomena Lee doesn't know what becomes of her child. I know this woman. She had a baby when she was a teenager, and she's kept it secret for 50 years. And what you're talking about uh, would be what they call a human interest story. And that's... I don't do those. Why not? You think I should do a human interest story? Fans of Coogan in his disguise as North Norfolk's favourite DJ might be in for a surprise, but his performance as the dishevelled journalist Martin Sixsmith is perfectly balanced, much like the script itself, which he co-authored. Coogan doesn't overdose on the funnies, but nor is this the sort of turgid weepy that you think might actually curry favour with the Academy on Oscars night. The scene in which he discusses Philomena's sexual awakening is a perfect case in point. As far as punchlines go, I didn't even know I had a clitoris. Well, that takes some beating. And it helps, of course, that it's a line delivered by the wonderful Dame Judi Dench. Hang on to your rosary beads. If she doesn't win the Oscar on Sunday night for Best Actress, well, that itself is some kind of sin. There are avenues we can pursue in America. I'm getting the royal treatment, Marshall. I feel like the Pope. Champagne or Buck's Fizz? Oh, no, thank you. It's free. Oh, I, I see. You have to pay for everything on Ryanair. This is also that rare sort of film, definitely directed by Stephen Frears. It takes on a subject of true importance in the world, but it doesn't hector. It's actually rather subtle. It's intelligent, but also, it's also deeply emotional. Well, thank heavens that films like this are still being made in Britain. <laughs>